Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin if you happen to be new today. I am so so glad that you guys have stopped by. We're going to head in to a local antique shop in my hometown and try to find some laundry decor pieces to add to my new laundry room. I would love to have one of those old tummy irons and um, maybe just anything related to laundry to the laundry room that I could add in to my new items that I've got from my laundry room. So let's look around see what we can find. The first thing I spotted was this set of wooden spools. They were absolutely beautiful. I love the dark wood on them. They ranged from like $9.99 to $12.99, and I love that they each had a different style of their own. These wood mashers, oh my goodness, they were absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen any little dainty ones like this before. They were so, so cute. However, these um, antique clothespins, oh my, those will definitely go home with me today. Now, I'm going to show you a variety of all of these iron, these vintage irons that are so, so popular. The one with the wooden handle there, that is probably my favorite. I do love a wood on iron look. I just love that that combination is awesome but now this little cylinder iron was really really cute and it wasn't as heavy as the other ones were so I'm just going to show you just a few different irons that they had here at this antique shop and they pretty much range from like $16 up to $30 I was also on the lookout for some type of wicker material, rattan material to go in the laundry room and this large gathering basket was gorgeous. It was a little pricey around $50 but I just did not really have a spot in my laundry room. I may could put this on top of my pantry but I wasn't real sure of regarding how much room I had up there. And then I found two of these vintage baskets with lids. One was $25 and one here in a second is $28. I don't know what you would call these. I'm thinking maybe that um, women used to put their sewing products in these little baskets, but I did love them that they had handles, they had a lid, absolutely gorgeous. These would look good in a corner, and this would also be something that I could have put on top of my pantry if I just knew how tall it was. But I did love these antique baskets that um, I found, again, with the great lids and the great handles. I liked this one just a little bit better because of the red that it had in it and it was in a little bit better shape. And of course, a laundry room could not have enough jars. These vintage jars were beautiful for $10 each. I didn't get a shot of the uh, lids for some reason, but they had some really great uh, sealed lids and just a really pretty shape to them. Now this ticking material pillow really caught my eye with a little fringe on it. It was $10. It's absolutely gorgeous. I thought this print would go really well in my laundry room because I also have a ticking material in the new curtains I have in the laundry room. This also had a pillowcase that came off and you could wash it. This was the sweetest little tulip basket that I've ever seen. And for $6, I could not pass this up. This could not only hang in my laundry room, but pretty much any area in my home. Now these vintage wooden butter molds, oh my, this one was rectangle and then you'll see another one that's round. They were absolutely gorgeous. I love adding wood into any of my vignettes and this little round butter mold was my favorite. The first one was 20, the first one was 25 and this one was 27. And of course, washboards are wonderful in a laundry room. Um, I found two different styles today. Um, I think one was 25, one was 22. No, this one was 22. And then I'll show you another one here in just a second. But I didn't pick up a washboard today because I know the only way to display these is to hang these on a wall. And I'm just not ready to put anything on my wall yet until um, I've got it 
pretty much complete so I did not pick up either one of these washboards today but at least I know where they are in case I find a perfect spot for them. Okay friends, I went to the second antique store but for some reason I lost all my footage here and most of the items you're about to see I got actually from the second antique store. Y'all, as I was filming this, I'm like, oh my goodness, the aesthetics of all the things I picked up today are awesome. Look at these really pretty colors. The light browns with the dark stain and the light stained, that pretty green on those measuring cups. I just love this look. So I picked up this accordion peg rack. I think it was $10. I love these. I've got one in my kitchen and I'm real excited to add one into my laundry room. And these matte green measuring spoons, oh my these are absolutely gorgeous now these won't go in the laundry room these will go in my spring kitchen because I'm doing dark um, green in the kitchen this year so those are gonna be perfect in one of my vignettes and of course I didn't pass up these antique um, the clothespin the dark stain on them was absolutely beautiful and honestly guys I do a lot of antique shopping that's my first time to ever see anything like that this wooden spoon I also picked up for the kitchen, of course. Oh, I forgot to say I'm going to hang those um, clothes pins on my pegboard in my laundry room. But that spoon's going to go in a vignette in my kitchen, and I could not pass up this cloth uh, carrot. I think I got it for $5. It was so, so cute. So I think I'll use it on my open shelf. So I did pick up a few things that are going in my kitchen, not in my laundry room. Some things I could not resist, like this little scrubber. I love it. I love the vintage look on it. I love that it's got a hook at the end of it so I can pretty much hang it on maybe a pegboard in my kitchen. So not everything I picked up today is going to go in the laundry room. Sometimes I find things I cannot pass up. Again, like this sweet little tulip basket. I have never seen one of these, and I love this. Most likely, this will probably stay here in the laundry room for the time being since it's um, springtime. I'll hang it on my new pegboard that I'm going to put at the end of the laundry room, and then I can always switch over it to the kitchen. And last but not least was this gorgeous wooden mug holder. I love the antique look of it. I love the distressed look of it, the little stubby um, little posts that you put your coffee cups on. I just love this coffee cup holder. Okay, my friends, I appreciate you so much if you're still watching this video. I know it was a short one, but be sure you subscribe to my channel. Be sure you hit that bell notification uh, bell so that um, YouTube will notify you as soon as I post my Decorate With Me in the laundry room. It's going to be a fun one, friends. Again, thanks for spending some of your time with me. I appreciate you. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.